Right, so uh, today we have here Moad from uh, TechAir, uh, who uh, basically, yeah, do the um, panel today about the future of refurb uh, refurbished tech, and uh, we're going to talk about trends and opportunities. Uh, my name is Mike. I'm uh, the uh, business development manager at ANSYS Group. Uh, just a short intro for those who are uh, not familiar with us yet. Uh, ANSYS Group, we are developers of uh, software solutions for uh, second life mobile industry, right? We have a pretty big product line already. Uh, we offer solutions for mobile diagnostics, functionality testing, certified data erasure, IBI checks, AI automated grading, uh, buyback solutions for both online and offline scenarios, inventory management system for warehouses, and we've also recently successfully uh, had a pilot of uh, our robot Riva at our few of our partners uh, warehouses now. So we're all also taking commercial offers for our robot, which automatically does diagnostic data erasure and grading uh, too. Uh, but enough about us. Uh, Maud, why don't you uh, tell us about uh, tech here and what you guys do? Um, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Mike, for the introduction. Uh, my name is Moad. I am the International uh, Marketing and Sales Manager at Tech Air. Um, uh, we are based uh, in Ireland, uh, in, in Port Arlington, to be exact. It's about an hour away from Dublin, because when you mention Ireland, everybody just, you know, immediately think of, of Dublin. Um, uh, but we, we've been um, established in 2019. Uh, our uh, founders, they're three young entrepreneurs. Uh, that they thought of an idea um, and, and the idea became a concept and then suddenly it was, uh, you know, a startup and then we just, we just came a long way from 2019 and, it, and it's incredible to be, to be part of this process and to see it and uh, as, as the market develops as well, we develop with it, um, it is, uh, is incredible. Uh, I did prepare a little uh, presentation just to make it easy so everybody could see and they can they can read at the same time uh, so we can speak about the future of refurbished tech. Um, what are the emerging trends and, and the opportunities that, uh, that you could explore uh, regardless if you're a company as well or if you are a customer or, or whatever so you can have an idea or, on what you're purchasing or uh, what you can explore if you're not doing this yet. Uh, please allow me just a couple of minutes just so I can uh, get the presentation here. Yeah, and in the meantime, I just want to let everyone know that uh, we also have a Q&A at the end. So guys, feel free to let us know uh, once you have any questions to Moad or me. Uh, feel free to put them in the chat. Uh, we'll make sure to reply to them. Yeah, please, uh, if you have any other, any questions, I, I will make sure to... Uh, Mike, please remind me to keep looking at the Q and A because <laughs> of course, I'll, 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 I'll keep an eye on that for you. <laughs> I do not want to neglect anybody. I want to be able to uh, tell everyone. Uh, so uh, I, this is this is a humble uh, presentation that that was prepared for this uh, specific event. Uh, please feel free to stop me, Mike, whenever you need to. Um, so if you would like to ask me something, you would want, want me to elaborate on something that, uh, further. Sure. Uh, for, in a, in a, just to give you a little. Um, little understanding uh, about us and, and what we do. Uh, we, we have lately become a, a leading uh, provider uh, of refurbished tech products. Uh, we have showed extreme commitment to sustainability lately in the past, uh, in the past year or so, um, regardless of the opportunity or, or uh, you know, how the market is thriving. Um, what, what is most important is, um, you know, conserving our planet. Uh, trying to create a sustainable future for for our children and the generations coming uh, coming after us, uh, which is kind of like it's it's a step. We we are um, let's say we are in a world that cannot live without a, an electronic device. Uh, let it be a phone, a tablet, or or a computer. Therefore, the the uh, production is going to be uh, humongous and, and different from other years to now. So what? Kind of, I am glad that there is this initiative uh, of, of refurbished products, used products, that we are recycling these products uh, by eliminating other things. So uh, that's what we are doing uh, in Ireland at the moment. Um, uh, so one of our first things is 
we sustainability and environment environmental commitment is something that we take seriously um let's say by by purchasing a refurbished product you think that you are just cutting costs but it is more than that it is about reducing uh, electronic waste and, and and other things that i'm gonna go through this presentation um uh, you basically throw out uh, refurbishing uh, tech solutions. Uh, you are extending the lifespan of electronics and you're helping to reduce the amount of electronic waste that ends up uh, in, in landfills. And that is kind of a uh, the first uh, principle of, of recycling of any kind. Let it be a cup, let it be uh, a phone uh, or anything like that. Um, then they have... Uh, the main thing is participating in that circular economy. Don't want to be, um, let's say, the only company that is not uh, participating in this uh, incentive to to create a, a better future for everyone. Uh, by offering refurbished tech, uh, you're actively participating in the circular, circular economy immediately, even if you sell it to your friend. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's the exact same. Uh, reducing the need for new resource extraction and energy consumption. Um, the approach uh, helps minimize our env environmental impact and promotes a more sustainable way of uh, consuming uh, technology. Uh, when you get a phone, for example, and uh, you just, let's say, you just change a battery, for example, it's not going to be uh, such a major impact because you have changed just one component and it's not the whole phone. To make a full phone, let's say it, it's it's a lot. It, it comes into a lot of steps and uh, we try to kind of like undercut that. Um, there's minimizing carbon emission. Uh, production and transportation of new electronics, uh, obviously they contribute into uh, if significant carbon emissions through manufacturing and there's the subsequent carbon emissions they're always associated with it. When it comes to manufacturing anything, there is always that, um, you know, uh, emissions that we are trying to cut to, you know, to just combat climate change and just reduce the heat and earth. And uh, I think these are the main things why we try to minimize carbon emissions. And another thing that I would like to mention beside the uh, the presentation, um, the lately in in the in the, uh, the past year or so. Um, chips have become sacred uh, there's there's so scarce it's so hard to get chips therefore the uh getting let's say new phones and new devices is going to be very difficult in, in the future like to produce a phone is going to be very hard uh we are in a business of uh, let's say creating uh, components and payment devices as well and we are always in the first line of trying to get chips and getting components for for projects and it has become a nightmare uh, so you can see just from now that in five years, uh, how hard is it going to be to, uh, let's say, just get a new phone? I I, I think that the uh, the new uh, market is going to to decline uh, significantly because uh, th this is not just cost efficient for customers or for businesses as well. It is also sometimes it's in great quality. For example, if you use uh, if you use a software checker like like Insys. You know, they make it very, very simple and they answer all the questions that the customer is asking in the first place. So let's say the customer is saying, you know, they, they check for the battery. They want to check how many cycles did the battery have. You know, now you guys have, uh, Mike, you have a, um, you know, uh, an AI grade checker, which is something that uh, we're looking forward to as well, which is, which is great. So the customer gets a detailed um, report on the phone that he's providing. Uh, yes, when you're getting a, a new phone, you, you don't get that kind of service as well. You know, you get everything that you would like to need. Uh, the customers have come to the, to the you know, uh, they, to the idea that, hey, we don't need a new phone because purchasing an A, like a grade A phone is, is like getting a new one if you are using the right software and if you're using the right grading metrics, you know, uh, which is very cool. Um, so for us, INSYS Group has definitely enhanced the efficiency and accuracy, accuracy of our refurbishment processes. Um, I think it is one of the best softwares that we have used in a while. Obviously, when you're when you're using when you're just new, you're using a lot of softwares and you're trying to see which one 
uh, you know, suits best. Uh, I had the chance to meet one of your, some of your colleagues, Mike, in, uh, in Malta. Uh, very, very uh, nice and communicative team. Um, very good. And um, so for us to enhance our both sustainability and efficiency in our operations and also um, great customer satisfaction, we use Insys Group because, you know, you will understand how um, how difficult a refurbishment process without the detailed uh, testing. And uh, to move forward, the, the quality and reliability. Uh, one of the most, you know, common mistakes that when people hear refurbished product, they say, or a pro pro refurbished device, uh, they think that it's immediately not, they lack quality. But uh, that is not true, as I mentioned in the slide before. Uh, sometimes you could get a phone that is exactly same, like new, it's the exact same and it wouldn't be much difference. You just, as I said, you just need to have a good facility to do the refurbishment process. You need to have good staff that actually cares about what gets out of, gets out of the door and goes to the customer. And you have a very um, effective software to go through the phones and to check them and to give you an exact data of what goes wrong with the phone and what goes right with the phone as well because you can use that as as you know for your selling points as well which is which is very good and also detecting issues that the eye cannot see uh of course like you cannot look at a phone i, I mean you could be out of this planet you could look at this phone at a phone and just say oh yeah this one has 200 and had 200 cycles i would love to have that talent but unfortunately <laughs> i don't so uh, a software could be helpful for that uh moving on uh our collaboration with INSYS Group, um, the, the INSYS Group's advanced testing solution, as I said, has been instrumental uh, in enhancing the quality assurance process for our refurbished uh, devices. Uh, to, to all business owners that are actually thinking of, of uh, uh, let's say, um, getting into the refurbished uh, market, uh, you have to be sure of uh, choosing, or even customers, you have to be sure of choosing what software and what testing system was used, uh, because if you have a good testing software, that means you have a good product, and which is which is the the main thing. Um, also, the 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 mark the meet meet in the market demand. Uh, as I said, devices and in general phones, laptops, uh, and so on. Uh, they are very important in our daily lives now. They have become almost necessities of life. Um, you cannot go anywhere without your phone. And unfortunately, if you go somewhere without your phone, I, I go into this extreme panic attack of like checking all my pockets, <laughs> you know. Uh, but that means that there is a growing market demand for that. And, and the new uh, market cannot really just, you know, just simply just get a phone to everyone. You know, so you need to have this recycling. Uh, uh, the refurbishing the refurbishing market is growing significantly every single year um, because there is this consciousness about the planet now, which is most important. Uh, there is also the cost efficiency, as I said, and then you're getting what you get from a new new device. It's the exact same, uh, which is I, I I think it's it's brilliant to see. Um, we're going to see a lot of uh, changes in the in the electronics market, and I think it's going to be exciting, and at the same time uh, shocking. And so, like, don't be don't be discouraged of purchasing um, a refurbished phone because it's the exact same as a new one if you're getting the right grade and everything. Um, moving on forward, uh, we have the. Uh, Basically, driving innovation, um, driving inno innovation, refurbished tech, and the circular economy. Uh, driving innovation in the industry, it is something that we have been doing since we have started. We have always tried to find new ways to to develop uh, our systems, to develop our way of of uh, you know getting these phones in the market. We have developed in in a way of uh, choosing the right partners. We have Insys, for example. Then we have Refurb here in Ireland which have showed great success uh, in the past year, and, and we cannot wait to see more. Uh, with advanced technologies, software solutions, as I said, you know, we, we, we do ensure thorough inspections, uh, reliable function, functionality, and accurate assessments of refurbished uh, devices. 
Next point is, you know, by embracing this circular economy principles, you have to just embrace it and just do not try to fight it because uh, don't think that, you know, I'm going to lose customers. Yes, if you could in some instances, but you, you will gain more because this is the, it's more than a trend. It's kind of become a necessity at this point. Uh, it is not something that we just use, uh, you know, uh, as a buzzword, if you'd like to say, but uh, it's, um, it is more than that. Um, for the sustainability, as I said, it's not a, just a buzzword for us. Um, it's it's more than that. It's it's become kind of a responsibility at this point. Uh, our commitment to sustainability it, it extends throughout our operations, from sourcing refurbished devices to packaging and shipping. And again, uh, these this like showing this commitment to to sustainability, it is not just through selling. Um, sustainable uh, products and uh, say refurbishing devices it goes through anywhere in the warehouse everywhere in the warehouse we try to use the most efficient and the most energy clean way to get our shipments out the door use um let's say use uh, delivery uh, delivery companies that are, have the same um beliefs as us when it comes to sustainability excuse me for a second i just need some more uh, you know and don't forget, uh, reusable sure. bottle, no plastic. Sure, stay hydrated. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Also, I have I have a plastic one. Sorry, but I, <laughs> I I I use the same one. I just you know like pour it with water from the from the tap. So you know it's also like a sustainable way of, of drinking water, I guess. <laughs> it is. Don't worry, Mike. I'm not gonna tell anyone. Thank you. Uh, so what we have here now, um, when it's, it's just, as I said, I went through this slide, my apologies. I have lost the, uh, you know, everything I was going through, but, uh, by integrating an environmental responsibility into our daily practices, we set an example for the industry and demonstrate, uh, our dedication to a greener future. And I think this is something that Take Care have been doing here in Ireland since we have started and, uh, I am, I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, how it's going to go because we have set an example um, in in driving this refurbishment market and we are only um, a mid-sized business. You just have to embrace it and just let it happen and work as hard as you can with cleaner beliefs. You have to truly believe that you want a sustainable world and a sustainable environment regardless of, of, of your business opportunities that you want. And uh, it, it's a great way uh, to do so. And we stay dedicated to a greener future and um, most of our team uh, believes in the same. And lastly, uh, we are very grateful for our partnership with INSYS uh, and the valuable contributions they bring to our journey. Uh, they have helped us a lot through uh, identifying every single little mistake that goes, on, goes wrong with the device. Um, by leveraging INSYS innovation solutions, we can deliver refurbished tech products of the highest quality and reliability, um, meet the customer demands and set new industry standards. Um, I, I truly believe that it is, it is our responsibility to, to create a sustainable world. It is, it, is, it has become a must, uh, and it's not just a, um, it's not just a, a choice at this point. It is a must to, to, to fight for this, to fight for a sustainable world. Uh, I really thank you guys for everything. Um, thank you for listening to me speaking. Uh, thank you for, go, you know, letting me go through this um, presentation. Mike, thank you to Insys and everything for setting this up. I think this is such a valuable event where, you know, you get to speak not just about, let's say, the refurbished device market, but also to, to say your beliefs in terms of, you know, how you want a sustainable world and a cleaner planet. Uh, which is very nice. So I thank you for that. If you have any questions, please just uh, just make them easy as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Ask any questions. Yeah. You. No, sure, sure. I'll go easy on you. No worries. And uh, <laughs> thanks a lot as well, Moad. Uh, it was a great presentation. Uh, really insightful. Uh, glad to hear about you know your company mission being, you know, eco-friendly, being responsible, and really taking this sustainability issue like seriously and you know we, we were speaking like jokingly about the you know climate change before uh, before we went live and 
the fact that you're contributing to making this uh, world like a better place is, is really great, really inspiring and really cool to hear that uh, the partnership is fruitful for you, that it helps you, you know, on, on your mission. I'm really happy to, uh, to hear that. Yes. So really Mike no that is that is only the truth Mike uh, that, that's about it I you know uh, there is there is a principle in life that I do not take take very lightly is uh, you say it how it is and and it is I think it's something that serves me great and uh, it's perfect when I said that INSYS actually has been helping a lot uh, to for us to deliver these messages and and to you know to strengthen our process uh, I was I was I meant it yeah and I love hearing that you know that's uh that's the most, uh, I guess, like pleasant part of the job when you get to hear the customer's feedback and understand that, you know, your solutions are really helping them on their uh, on their way and really helping the business. And yeah, you just showed also the bigger picture that it's not just, you know, the business, it's also the impact that, uh, that you have on, you know, the planet and the world in general, which is great. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, actually, uh, I just had a couple of questions uh, off the back of what you said. The uh, first one, you said something interesting there regarding, you know, the, I would say, like the adoption of refurbished phones and people are still maybe like being on the fence about whether or not they should trust mm -hmm. refurbished mm -hmm. phones or not, or they should go with new. So in your opinion, uh, what's the current like adoption level of refurbished phones like in Ireland or in Europe or wherever, mm -hmm. and where do you see this trend going? Yeah, um, but, uh, let's be honest, Mikey. If you if you came to me about uh, two years ago and you said, um, "Hey, there is this uh, you know used phone website that you could choose and you could buy, let's say, three years," uh, I would not. I would say no. I'd actually just buy a cheap new phone because yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that you know. I I I would be the same. I still remember this happened to me. Uh, in in 2017, um, I was I was just I lost my phone and I just needed something new. I was mm -hmm. actually 2020. Uh, I was already here and I was walking. I lost my phone and uh, I needed something else. There was already a, a website where you can buy a used phone, uh, which is called uh, Swappy, if I remember. Yeah. And uh, and I I did not trust it. I did not want to buy a phone from there because I said, well, th that's been used and I don't know what mm -hmm. they're advertising, if they're advertising something true or wrong. So I just bought something that is very, very cheap. Um, but now the, everything has changed. You know, uh, the everything has adapted to this to this market. Uh, I don't think a lot of people don't buy new uh, that I know. Uh, they just go and buy a used phone in good quality. Uh, the, in Ireland and Europe, the market has been growing significantly. Uh, of course, there's always the person that will buy a new phone, uh, they, they will always, but the majority uh, just go on a website where they say refurbished product and then they just buy a refurbished product because it's cost efficient and then they realize that it's the exact same as buying a new phone if you buy one in good quality. Right, right. And what yeah. also fascinates me is that with refurbished phones, you sometimes get one year warranty, sometimes you can get even even a longer warranty which to me sounds like, you know, even if something goes wrong, for example, yeah. you can still use the basically the same warranty that you would get with the new phone, right? Yeah, definitely. Like there are some there are some devices when you they come with their warranty because they've been they're that new. So you can still have that warranty and then you have the warranty of the company where you get the refurbished device from. So yeah. basically so most of the companies now to be to be honest, uh, a lot of companies they have tried to establish this this, this trust process in in terms of purchasing these devices uh, by by giving warranty by giving uh, money back guarantee by uh, you know by just facilitating this this communication with the customer that uh, hey if your phone go if anything goes wrong with the phone we we've got your back is what the customer wanted to hear and finally when they heard it they just started you know uh, purchasing the refurbished uh, phones regardless uh, if you know. Uh, regardless where they come from, uh, as long as it's a good company. Yeah, 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 that's great. And uh, if we talk about, you know, some challenges, like w what do you see for you, like as a business, you know, and a company that's uh, been a startup that is growing now, what are the main challenges that uh, that you see that you face maybe right now in the day to day? 
Uh, the, the challenges day to day, uh, they stay in, in sometimes some products are very scarce and it's very hard to get. Um, and we also the, the supply chain. Supply chain is uh, sometimes is, is disrupted multiple times, especially with COVID. Um, mm -hmm. We're still recovering from, you know, the market, the delivery market is still recovering from that. And the supply chain is still trying to find that smooth, uh, you know, smooth access to products and get them here. The, the shipping costs have become extremely expensive, which could, could affect your costs for the customer. Um, I think that's the main challenge at the moment. It is it is the the, the delivery costs and 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 the scarcity of the products in supply chain. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's something that we see every day because uh, you could be getting such a, a product at a really good price, and then if you factor in delivery, it just changes everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. And what are the plans for the business in general? Like what you you came such a long way from 2019 to this point already being one of the leaders on the market. What What's next for Tech Air? Um, you know, it's to basically make this vision happen of, of uh, creating a sustainable world uh, and, and try to be the, the not just the leaders of it. Uh, but the, 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 the term leader, you can interpret it in, in many different ways. Uh, what we want to do is we want to empower other businesses to do the exact same. We don't want to lead. We want to basically just get everybody around us and, and the companies in Europe uh, to see that, that, you know, there is a bigger picture in this. And other thing is that we would like to, um, we want to expand our services. And now we do Europe and uh, we, we do England. Uh, the US is something that we are looking forward to, you know, to get to as well. And uh, we're working forward mainly. We have such an ambitious team, uh, Mike. It's... Um, uh, it's very hard to tame their dreams. They've started from uh, they started from a, from a very very small entity to something like this, and uh, I, I really cannot tell you uh, what the future holds for us. But what I can tell you is that by the dedication and the hard work that we imply every single day, I think is going to be a great success. That's great. that sounds really exciting. Yeah. And the last one for me: Do you have any tips? or uh, similar companies or maybe someone who's starting their business or thinking about starting uh, refurbishment of mobile devices? Um, this is very simple. Just, you know, if you're, if you're starting a business, uh, just make sure that, that your, um, your purchasing values align with your uh, company values and your company culture. Uh, second is that always uh, find a, a reliable supplier a supplier that you can trust um, because there are so many, you know, in the refurbished business, there's so many problems with, with counterfeits, with, uh, you know, things that are, you can find fake devices as well. So you just have to be really careful where you buy your, your, your devices from. And if you're refurbishing your device, just make sure like you're refurbishing the, fo the phone or the device for yourself. In that Got way, it. you will, you will, you will have the perfect product to give the customer. As easy as that. And if you're a, a consumer of refurbished uh, products, just make sure you find a real, reliable uh, company to buy from. Uh, as easy as that. Somebody that uses, let's say, a, a good software solution so uh, they can test their products. That's very, very important. It, it basically just, uh, just clears all your doubts. If you have a, a good software provider that actually just reads through the phone and sees what goes wrong with it, you, you will have peace of mind. Uh, so I think these are the, the advices that a business owner or a, or a customer. I hope that answered your question, Mike. Yeah, sure. Good stuff. Uh, we actually have a question in the chat uh, that uh, I'll, I'll read to you. It's, this one is for you, Moad. Yeah. Uh, and I also want to also invite all of our uh, viewers now to also post their uh, questions uh, in the chat uh, since we're still live. So guys, uh, if you have any questions to Maud or me, please feel free to just pop them in the chat. And Adolfo asks something uh, really interesting. Is every cell phone model worth refurbishing in terms of profitability? Because there are so many cell phone brands right now and models, and yeah. some seem to be designed to be disposable. What's your take on that? That's, that's, that's a good question, Adolfo. Um... That is true. Uh, not even in terms of profit, pro profitability, 
uh, it is it is also about the the, the lifespan of, of the phone. For example, the, the iPhone, you would have a lifespan of seven to, to 10 years. Uh, very easy. So refurbishing it wouldn't really, wouldn't really change that at all. When it comes to Samsung phones, there's only certain phones or certain models that could be refurbished and they would still be in, in great quality. Uh, it, it just depends on uh, on the um, it depends on the brand, and I do agree with you, Adolfo. There are some brands that they're not worth refurbishing at all because refurbishing them will cost more than the phone. Not gonna name any names there. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Okay, good stuff. Uh, yeah, thanks, Moad, and thank you, Adolfo, for uh, for your question. Good one. And uh, yeah, guys, since um, we're uh, still live uh, again, uh, please feel free to uh, pop any questions, uh, any questions in the chat. Um, just to uh, remind uh, everyone, uh, just you know, small uh, introduction once again uh, that uh, for those uh, familiar with Ansys, we're uh, developers of uh, solutions for specifically. Uh, people who are in refurbishment of mobile industry. We are working with recyclers, repair centers, uh, logistics companies, so everything that has to do with uh, actually, you know, testing uh, data deletion of uh, mobile phones. We can support you on that. And we're also really excited about uh, launching our diagnostics robot, which automatically can test data clean and create your phone. So if you're interested in that, feel free to reach out to us. You can do that from our website, answersgroup.com. We'll be really happy to hear from you. And uh, yeah, let's see if we have uh, some activity in the, uh, in the chat. And yeah, uh, one other thing um, that we're gonna be sending the recording of the webinar for those uh, who registered on the website. So uh, you'll have an email from us with the recording uh, so that you can uh, review that at your own time and maybe share it with your uh, colleagues as well. Muad, uh, you have anything, uh, anything to add? Any comments? No, but what, what I'm... What I'm going to add is that, it, it, as I said before, is, uh, uh, you know, using basically uh, using INSYS, uh, which is the one of the uh, one of our greatest partnerships is, uh, here is, uh, you know, using INSYS has helped a lot in the development of, uh, you know, uh, in tech air in this market. And if you are just, you know, about to start this sustainable process, I, I truly advise you to do so. And if you're a customer, just purchase a refurbished device. There is absolutely no need for you to get a new device. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's about it, Mike. I think I've said everything uh, that I could have said about about this topic. There are many many things that you know you could you could just dive into in that. But for now, um, I think I've given the um, the main principles uh, of this process. Yeah. And it sounds, uh, you know, we'll save it for another session, probably. Yeah, uh, we will, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just want to thank you once again for uh, joining, uh, for ho hosting this uh, today. It was a really great presentation, really insightful. And uh, thank, thanks everyone who attended the uh, presentation, uh, who are going to view that later at their time. Um, and by the way, uh, if you want to learn more about uh, TechAir partnership with ANSYS, we've recently, I think just a few days ago, uh, published a case study with more details on how specifically uh, our partnership was uh, able to help uh, TechAir with their business processes. Uh, I invite you to take a read uh, on our website, or you can also do so on LinkedIn uh, as well. And of course, uh, I'm new to webinars, but I feel a call to action is needed. Uh, of course, follow TechAir on all social networks and uh, follow Ansys as well.
thank you thank you mike for everything i really appreciate that thank you for allowing the opportunity uh for me to so i can uh, represent uh, a company that i that i love and uh, i i trust in their values as well and um, I really appreciate this partnership and I really hope for a, a very fruitful future, Mike. Uh, Muad, if you don't mind, the last minute question came from Claire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where do you see Tecair in five years time? Uh, Tecair in five years, in five years time, I, I do see it as, as a, basically an expanded model of, of uh, Europe. I think we're going to have bases throughout, uh, you know, in Europe um, around now we have, as I said, we have the UK and then we have um, Ireland and then we are going to have, as I said, the US and uh, warehouses probably, hopefully in Germany. Yeah. And so we can facilitate this, uh, you know, the consumer product, you know, uh, delivery, um, pro like Consumers, they love that, um, you know, delivery, next day delivery. And it's really hard to do in the warehouse in Ireland. Although we use bonded warehouses all over the place, but it, it is just much easier to expand. But I think uh, in five years, I will see an expansion, uh, a remarkable expansion of, of the tech care team. Sounds great. Sounds great. And excited, uh, excited to hear that. And uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks again. Uh, thanks everyone. I think, uh, yeah, I just gonna read it to you more. I don't know if you see it. Uh, people are thanking you and telling oh, you you're, you very much. you're amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. And, uh, and I hope you guys have a good, good evening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, same here. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, thank happy you. to see all of you and thank you more. No problem. Have a good one. Right. Bye -bye. Take care everyone. Bye. Yeah.